My name is Feridun Shahidi. I'm a professor of food science in the Department of Biochemistry at Memorial University of Newfoundland. My work is related to different areas of marine life with respect to health promotion and disease risk reduction. I started working on seal and seal products about 35 years ago. In the area of seal oil, we wanted to find out exactly what were the differences between the fish oil and seal oil. In fish oil, we have two major omega-3 fatty acids. These are EPA and DHA, while in seal, in addition to those two, we have another component called DPA. It is uh, different, and therefore, the release of omega-3 fatty acids from seal oil is much faster. In our work, we compared stability of the seal oil with fish oil and found that uh, seal oil was a lot more shelf stable. That is very important because it doesn't go through the type of processing that the fish oils go through. Omega trees are very important from the stage of being a fetus to the old age. In terms of the health benefits of seal oil, there are a multitude of effects that we see and these relate to cardiovascular disease, diabetes, aging process, arthritis, skin conditions, you name it. Personally, I have benefited from taking seal oil capsules. I had arrhythmia, which is the irregular heartbeat. I started having seal oil maybe 25 years ago, and I found that it has a very good effect on reducing the severity of the arrhythmia. Seal oil is a sustainable source of omega-3 because seals are abundant. About 30 some years ago when I moved to Newfoundland, their population was about 1.2 million and this has increased to over 7 million. And seals eat a lot of fish. Seal oil is very important because it helps the equilibrium in the ecosystem. Seal oil, good for you, good for the environment.